Hello and welcome back to Navball Mastery. My name's Red Negative, and let's get cracking with today's episode. We're going to be looking at Rendezvous. This is possibly the hardest and and the most valuable part of reading the Navball and knowing what the hell it's telling you. So I have on board. I've got a, this is a crew transfer vehicle. Made a little pod and looks like the Kraken is. Ooh. Okay, I think my warranty is void here. Uh, hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I think that I... Yeah, that's, that's not agreeing with that at all. <sighs> so, what we need to do is I have a new crew on board that is going to go to the um, Purple Orbital Research Facility, the Corf. Jebediah has been there for a little while now. So we need to do a crew crew rotation there because Jeb wants to fly more rockets. Now, well, I'm going to start from the beginning here and I'm going to cover how to actually get a close approach. So right now, the Corf is ahead of us in our orbit. And see it's up here now things that are lower are going faster things that are higher are going slower it might be backwards just take it as gospel okay so what's going to have to happen is this corf is going to have to come around and catch up with us so let's get the time warp on because we'll talk a little bit more as this uh, this goes along so you see how okay that's at 140 what we might do is we might just slow down our orbit even more to make this more extreme. I'll lift this to 150, say. Okay. There we go. There's 150. Rightio, so we'll keep warping because I want the corf to catch up to me. Now, when it gets pretty close, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down a maneuver node. I'm going to take my orbit from up here and cross it over the corfs. That's all a matter of timing. Okay, if I make the burn in the right spot, I'll get close. Now what I'm going to show you is not necessarily how to do the maneuver so that you get 100 meters away. I'm going to get, I'm going to aim for say, oh, 5 kilometers as a close approach. Alright, we're starting to get a little bit closer now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a maneuver. And I'm going to burn retrograde. Bring my periapsis down so that it intersects. Okay, you see how i got a close approach here? these two markers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait an orbit, and wait an, oh, no, that's too far. Okay, and I'm going to drag this around to see if I can find where the, oh, there it was, there, perfect spot, 7.3 kilometers, perfect, I'm happy with that. Now, actually, I could make that a little bit better by doing stuff, but that's what we're going to do. Now, you notice how I did that? I knew that I was close, okay, so I've dropped down a maneuver node, I've added a maneuver, okay, I've burned retrograde, bring my orbit down, okay, and then I have just merely waited an orbit, now, wait an orbit, try and get it close, and then once it's close, all you do is you move this maneuver node around the orbit until you get it to intersect, that's how you get a close approach, that's too far. There's close approach. Nice. So I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to warp to the maneuver node. So that's going to be in a little while. Okay, I'm going to have to wait another, another hour or so. I'm going to perform this maneuver and then I'm going to show you how to go from 6.7 kilometers down to basically parking it on the target vehicle's head. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to do that with a nav ball. So around we come. We're going to perform this burn. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, you'll notice that there's these pink markers on the nav ball now. What these pink markers are, these are my target. Okay, this, this pink one is just telling me where my target is with respect to my orbit. Okay, this the yellow thing is my orbit, remember? I'm actually going to need pro, uh, not pro grade, the maneuver node here. Three minutes away. So yeah, that's that's the what's called the um, target and entire target. They're actually down here as well. So as you unlock later things, you can get the uh, the 
uh, attitude hold. So if I was to burn like this, okay, I would burn directly at my target, which happens to be over there somewhere. It's not uh, yet on the screen, but that's what the target says, okay? My target is directly in that direction. And I'm gonna show you a trick in a second. The other side of the nav ball is the anti-target, which is directly away. So if that's the target, I'm gonna burn directly away from it. Now let's, let's perform this maneuver here so that we can get this close approach. And then we're gonna work on getting it awesome. Now this takes a lot of, takes some practice, it takes some getting your head around. But once you get used to it, it is far superior to anything else. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna go retrograde, I'm gonna burn. So this is gonna get me that uh, close approach. So it's at 18 Ks. Bring that down, 13, 10, 8, 7, 6, well, and it's going back up again. So that's our that's our close approach. So what I want to do is I want to I want to warp to about here. Okay, and then we're gonna begin our our kind of fine tuning and everything. Now you've got to remember that you're orbiting around a planet, so you're not going to be able to affect things too much. If you're trying to close the close approach from say 20 kilometers much much harder there it is there's our target and if we were to burn directly like this we would go and run into it okay so what we need to do okay and it's as simple as this we want to push the yellow bit onto the pink bit okay by doing that what we're going to do is we're going to actually push our orbit okay our orbit over to our targets orbit so that we meet that's effectively what we're going to do. So normally what you would do is you would kill your relative velocity here and then you would thrust in and that's crap. So what I want to do is when it's retrograde, it retrogrades a push, pro progrades a pull. So I want to burn like this. Okay, see how that retrograde moves across the map? Okay, whoop, fuck. Luckily I hit the X button there. Now you see how I've got it close to the anti-target. I'm just going to push it a little a little bit further and I'm gonna push a little bit further you notice how my target velocity is falling okay I don't have an unlimited amount of velocity to work with here if I null that out I would have to come back around and go towards the target again but you notice that our target is now seven kilometers okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep working on this Okay, with uh, prograde, remember it's a pull. And I'm going to increase my speed because this is curving, so we're going to need a bit of a push here. So I'm up to 43 meters per second. What has that done? Oh, look at that. 300 meters. How about that? Now, the reason I know this is going to work is because all I'm doing is I'm moving my orbit, that's the yellow orbit, onto my target's orbit. That's all I'm doing. There's some restrictions to this. You can't just do it an unlimited amount. Okay, you can actually knock yourself out of an orbit if you're not careful. Now you'll notice here that my periapsis is actually below the top of the atmosphere. So this is very temporary. This is the temporary situation because I'm trying to get this encounter. Now it is more efficient just to go directly to a hundred meter kind of close approach that is more efficient however you can't always get that it's sometimes you'll you'll be two kilometers away on the close approach sometimes you'll be three kilometers away sometimes you'll get 600 meters this is about how do we close this distance okay how do we get closer to it after we've got our close approach so right now all I'm doing okay is I'm just making sure my retrograde marker is directly over the anti-target so Oh, we're back out to a kilometer. Now, the reason that's going to drift is because I'm obviously putting in an input here and I'm ruining things. So, there we go. There's the target. Now, we notice that, ah, the retrograde has actually drifted. So, what I want to do here is I want to push this back over to the anti target. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. 
If I run out of velocity, I'll go around prograde. Thrust towards the target. Okay, you see how we're over it now? And we're continuing to close the distance. Now, you see here, I've got a close approach of zero, zero, and here of two kilometers. So, what that means is I'm going to be very, very close. And here's the tips, right? Number one, don't look at the vessel. That's number one. Don't don't look at this. This this does not help you. It'll do your brain in going, okay, I need to point here. and You're going to end up pointing the wrong way. Look at the nap ball. That's what it's there for. Keep the yellow thing over the pink thing. If you can do that, you'll be fine. Now, I want a little bit more speed here. It's probably, probably not strictly required, but I want it anyway. Let's bring it up to, say... Uh, 10 meters per second. So that's just going to close me in nice and quick. You can't spend too long monkeying around, otherwise the orbits will move and things won't work as you want them to. So you can see here we're in at 100 meters. I'm just going to burn, slow down that target velocity. When I get close, okay, whoop, I want to follow the retrograde. How good is that? So right now we're stopped at. 89 meters and that is how you use the nav ball to rendezvous now i'm going to show you in the next episode how to use that same technique of moving your orbit over your target's orbit to do a very very accurate landing and i may even show you how to do a direct descent to rendezvous so that's that in the next episode yeah, we're going to go do that, and then we're going to come back here, and I'm going to show you how to dock using only the nap ball. I look forward to seeing you then.